I said, Mother, I am angry. She gave me some shells for the revolver, and I, I told her I was unhappy, and she gave me some razor blades and band-aids, and I, I said, Mother, my whole book, it really stinks. And she was quick to mix me up a drink. Yeah, it was some kind of gin and amphetamine. She said, son, this will temporarily be your best of friend. It will help you with situations. You know, the kind that's out there blowing. Yeah, blowing down the highway. Well, that situation highway and son, you know, that's your front yard. Sometimes I like to drink. Sometimes I like to smoke. When I go round my mom's, I have got to do both. Because she likes to know where I've been, what I've done, whom I loved, and why the hell I've been gone so long. Why you been gone so long? Why the hell you been gone so long? Why have I been gone so long? Mother, I met this girl. Yes, love. But I felt this thing in me and it made me, you know, leave. Oh, she was lovely and heaven sent and she was no longer angry. And we made stars together. Yeah, we made stars together. But I left. Was that right? I read the last page first. Why do they not put the first page last? Son, maybe you did the right thing. Perhaps you did the wrong thing. I am just so pleased to see that you did something. You are just like your father. You're out blowing down the highway. That situation highway and son, you know, that's your front yard. Now let me pack you a lunch. It's an obvious journey that you're on. And it looks like you could use some shoes. You left a right one here last year. And there's a left one right over there, next to the box labeled, Some Things. I heard her say this all over the commotion out on the highway. No, it was not a car crash. No animal got hit. No, no, no. It was only voices of the meetings I've yet to meet and other decisions to be tempted and teased by up the street. Other addictions to be tempted by up the street. Other decisions, addictions to be tempted and tried, tested down the street. I heard her say this over the commotion out on the highway. No, it was not a car crash. No animal got hit. No, no, no. It was only voices off the meetings I've yet to meet and other addictions to be tempted and teased by up the street. And I rarely hear them Really? Really? How rarely? Mother asks. You are just like your father. You think out loud. You wear no mask. So I go, mother. But first, last page first. Can you tell me who she is? 
You know, the woman, when I was four, she swam the pond. She is in my dreams again, almost in my presence. I can feel her and she is everywhere. Son, go while your shadow's still tall. You shall see her again, and though our yard is not small, if you should see your father, let him know I'd like to share this, my last autumn's fall. So I go, mother. Stop wandering the way, son. Your tall shadow knows. So I go. So I go. Three simple words, so I go. Barely make up a verse. Yet why these words do I say them so? So I go. And as I go, a poem naturally occurs to me. That parallel lines are never meant to meet. That strict nine was never invented to be a drink. But if you look down this highway, situation highway, if you look down this highway far enough, those parallel lines, they meet. And if your life is rough enough, you can make a bet that strychnine you would surely drink. As for me, me I shall form the letter C and blow on down this highway, situation highway, blow on down this highway as lost as the tumbleweed. And when the wind takes a rest, I shall look at the past behind me, and that should be enough to remind me of just why I am tumbling blindly, looking for new places to age and women to save, to make a list of places where I can go and not be stepped on. And since the age of four, the woman who swam the pond The woman who swam the pond. Where is my enlightenment ghost? Where is my enlightenment ghost? Life is a book. Life.